Today a light will shine upon us, for the Lord is born for us, and he will be called Wondrous God, Prince of Peace, Father of future ages, and his reign will be without end. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And with your spirit. Happy New Year, everybody. <clears throat> what a great way to start off a new year. I thought 2020 ended yesterday. Now we're back into 2021, and here we have an ice storm. All right, well, as we come together to celebrate these sacred mysteries on this great solemnity of the Blessed Mother, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who through the fruitful virginity of Blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant, we pray, that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, This is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look kindly upon you and give you peace. So, they, so shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. May God bless us in his mercy. May God bless us in his mercy. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon earth among all nations, your salvation. May God bless us in his mercy. May the nations be glad and exult because you rule the peoples in equity, the nations on earth you guide. May God bless us in his mercy. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us and may all the ends of the earth fear him. May God bless us in his mercy. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof that you are sons, God sent his spirit of his son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father, so you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then also an heir through God. The word of the Lord.
Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told to them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told to them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel, before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. All right, we'll try to make this short, sweet, and to the point this morning since it's beginning to sleet out there again. Today we get together to not only begin a new year and to bring an, another year to an end, but we also come together to praise and glorify God. And we hear in our responsorial psalm today that wonderful, pra that wonderful prayer, God, bless us in your mercy. And what a beautiful way to start off a new year. Not asking God to bless us in his power or his might or his majesty or his glory, but ask him to bless us in his mercy. That this year we may begin off on the right foot in union with God, being forgiven of our sins, starting a new, a refreshed, a whole new beginning. But it's more than just that, it's more than just a turning of a page of a calendar. It's a chance to remind us that we are called to put God first and foremost in our lives, just as Mary put Jesus first and foremost in her life. And we see this per most perfectly in that message of the shepherds today in our gospel reading. It's a message that we should all hear and take to heart. Because what are the shepherds doing? <clears throat> the first thing they did was that they were out in the fields guarding their sheep. A cold night, probably a night like any other night, trying to keep the wolves and the stray dogs and all of that away from their sheep. They smell, they're dirty, they're the dredge of society. They're really not welcomed anywhere. Nobody really likes them. And yet on that night, in that fullness of time, as Paul tells us, the heavens opened, and the first persons to hear that message of the Savior coming into the world were these lowly shepherds. And what did they do? The first thing they did was they believed. The second thing that they did, they went and saw. The third thing that they did, they went out and praised God. And that's still our message today is to believe, to, to glorify, and to be heralds. Whether it be January 1st or December the 31st, each and every day of our lives, we're called to live that life of Christ. We're called to immerse ourselves in God's mercy. We're called to immerse the world in God's mercy. And if there was ever a time in this world that we need God's mercy, it's now more than ever. It's been a tumultuous year. We've lived through a pandemic. We were beginning to see the end or the light at the end of the tunnel in that. We've had a tumultuous election. Our politics seem to be going down the drain. And yet we Christians, we Catholics, we know that our faith is centered on the rock of Christ. And when those winds of turmoil blow around us, when we feel like we're being tossed about on a ship in an ocean, about to drown in the waves of disorder and chaos, we reach down into our hearts and we grab hold of that rock. We grab hold of Christ. And whatever we go through, whatever we went through last year, and whatever we go through this year, we know that Christ, Emmanuel, goes with us. What a great feeling to know that we walk with Christ this year. Of course, we walked with Christ last year, and the year before, and the year before. 
And that's the message. To always remind ourselves on this day to give praise and glory to God that he sent his only son into the world, born of a woman, that he might assume the dignity of being a human himself, that he might suffer, that he might mourn, that he might grow hungry, go tired, feel those, those pangs of friendship breaking, and feel the love of friendship. He was like us in all things but sin, so that through his grace, through his mercy, we might become like him, sinless, blameless, and perfect in his sight. Because isn't that what we were called to be? In our Eucharistic prayer, it says that we are called to be holy, or I guess it's not a Eucharistic prayer, it's our preface to the Eucharistic prayer. We're called to be a holy nation, a people set apart, a priestly people. And that's exactly what we are. This year, let our prayer be that whatever we do, we do in the name of Christ. Wherever we go, we take Christ with us. Whatever we say, we say in the voice of Christ. This year, let it be a great opportunity for us to grow more in love with God as he grows more in love with us, to give ourselves more fully to each other, to be able to be truly be called disciples of the living God, that we might believe, glorify, and herald his kingdom in the world this year. Please stand. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. And for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And now, through the intercession of our Blessed Mother, let us offer our petitions to God our Father. For the Holy Father, may, may God bless him with a year of good health as he leads the church in wisdom and love, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For public authorities, may the Lord strengthen them in integrity and courage. For leadership that safeguards all human life from <clears throat> conception to natural death, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who lack hope, may the promise of the Lord's faithfulness bring them consolation and joy let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community, may Christ who came in flesh to save us be born anew in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died in faith, may they soon rejoice in God's presence, glorifying and praising him for all eternity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of this Mass, which are in thanksgiving for Samantha and Andy Rowland, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, on this very first day of the year, we come to give praise and glory to your name. Bless us this day and this year forward, that we may grow more in the image and likeness of your Son. 
We ask all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. Become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. Come for us, our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me of my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment, grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God, that just as we glory in the beginnings of your divine grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of the Blessed Ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, uh, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat... Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Sean, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
And now at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. <laughs> Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hallelujah.
And let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life. For we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever Virgin Mary, mother of your son and mother of the church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. All right, everybody, be careful going home. Uh, just as for your information, I don't think you would have committed a sin if you'd missed church this morning, all right? All right, take care of yourselves, be careful out there, and we'll see you this weekend. And now if you would, please bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, the source and origin of all blessing, grant you grace, pour out his blessing in abundance, and keep each of you safe from harm throughout this year. May he give you integrity in the faith, endurance in hope, and perseverance in charity, with holy patience to the end. Amen. May he order your days and your deeds in his peace, grant your prayers in this and every place, and lead you happily to eternal life. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon each of you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace.